Oh, we. Mm, mm, mm. Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes. You already know why I'm here. You already know why I'm here. Let's talk about it. Let's let's get a conversation going. Okay. 31224. The conversation between Dion and Nesto and Baby. Dion was laying it on Nesto. See, this is what Nesto needs to hear. Okay? This is what he needs to hear. He listens to Dre. Okay, he listens to him and he respects Dre. But baby, I bet you Dion got Nesto's brain twirling right now. Okay? He got it spinning right now. And I'm here for it. This is what Nesto needed to hear. And come here, Dion. Let me pop your collar, boo. Because you did that. Oh, yeah. When he called Dion, right? And Dion picked up the phone. Dion's tone was different. You could tell something was bothering him. His tone was different. Right? So Nesto asked, you know, Dion how he was doing and everything. And he said, you know, because I, I don't have a life anymore. And, you know, Dion doesn't like Nesto saying that. So Dion said, you made the bed that you lying in, right? You laying it, you made this bed, so you laid in it. You talking stupid ass shit on the phone and you're allowing that bitch to do it. So keep doing it because I don't have nothing to say about it. He said, he called her that bitch, okay? That's what he said in the conversation with his pops. And we all know who that itch bay is. We all know who that itch bay is, right? Okay. So Nesta was like, well, what you mean? And Dion said, you know what I mean. Don't play with me, bro. <laughs> Don't play with me, bro. See... I've always said that Dion and Nesto talk to each other like they're brothers or homies and stuff like that. But this is their relationship. This is their father and son relationship. And who am I to say anything about that? Every parent has a relationship with their with their kid in a different way. If that's how they do it and it works for them, fine. But baby, he <laughs> he spanked his daddy. Oh yeah, Dion spanked Nesto. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, Nesto's mouth got him in trouble, and it's gonna always get him in trouble if he don't know how to shut up <clears throat> and stop saying things. Okay, he know he's on a recorded line. What he thought nobody was listening? Come on. His story is hot right now. His story is hot right now. So, what he thought? But yeah, uh huh. I, I was here for it. I'm definitely here for it. Now, Dion said he heard the calls when he said nobody's in his corner. And I think that really hurt Dion because we don't know what Dion does for him. Okay, we don't know. We don't know every single detail of what Dion does for him. So that probably hurt Dion. And Dion told us though, that video that you asked me to find, I found it. He found that video. But nobody's in your corner though, right? Baby, Dion let it be known that he doesn't fuck with Sonya. He blocked her. Dion told Nesto to stop stop with the goofy shit. Okay? Dion said he's not calm. He's not cool. He told Nesto, you let that, that lady play with your son. You let that lady play with your son. You let, the lady, you let that bitch play with your son. And he said, ain't shit soft about him. Okay? I think he said that ain't shit soft about him. It was hard to understand, but I think he said it ain't shit soft, soft about him. Let me know in the comment section if that's what you heard as well or what do you, you know, what, what, did, what did he say? But Dion was going off, honey. Dion told Nesto, you doing the same shit you told all your folks not to do. 
Mm. That shit you want ain't cool. I was like, ooh. Honey, I was gathering my invisible pearls. Okay? I was gathering my invisible pearls. I was like, okay. Go off, baby. Go off. Go off, Dion. Because your daddy need to hear this. Go off. Dion told Nesto to stop saying his life is over. He said, because you're going to keep saying that and watch what's going to happen. They're going to baptize your ass. So you keep on talking that shit. What? Ah! <laughs> what? So, you know, Nesto replied and was like, you know, you know he, he keep going through the same thing with the bond and the hearings and they keep jacking him around and it's messing with him. So Dion said, I'm watching. Okay, I'm watching the shit as it happened. You got a bond, so all you need is the funds. Okay? You got the bond, but you need the funds. And Nesta don't have any money. Baby. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Dion let it be known that he's watching, okay? Okay? Because he knows about the charges being dropped, and he also know they could pick up the pick up the charges again. So he's letting his father know, "I'm watching. I know what's going on." Okay, you may think I don't know what's going on, but I know what's going on. Mm. And he said, "The person who don't have your back was at the Louis store." I think that's what he said, right? Confirm in the comment section. But we all know who he's talking about. He told us, though, don't let nobody play with him. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And he's like, I'm not out here jumping on anybody's podcast, but that's what your folks are doing. And when he mean about Nesto's folks, he is talking about you know who. You know who he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Jumping on podcasts and channels and stuff. Y'all know who he's talking about. Mm-mm-mm. And Dion also told Nesto to stop talking on the podcast. You know, stop talking to those podcast people. That's how they make their money. And it ain't doing nothing for him. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if Miss uh, Miss Sylvia is still on the visitation list. Hmm. I wonder. But anyway. And Dion told Nessa to stop crying. I almost fell out when he said, stop crying. <laughs> He told his daddy to stop crying. Mm, mm, mm. Dion also told his father, those folks are going to be the end of him. And I believe it. I know exactly who and what he's talking about. And he is absolutely right. Those folks are going to be the end of him. I've always felt like that. I always felt like, you know... It, it wasn't good for him to be talking on the phone like that with Sonya. It wasn't good for him to be doing all of that. But do you guys think it's a little bit too late now? Let me know in the comment section. So Dion told him to don't ever say that he doesn't have his back. And he doesn't like that. The story is not about him and the missus anymore. It's about him and that side hoe. Baby, my poor little heart almost dropped to my stomach. I was like, Dion. He was like, the story is not about you and the missus anymore. It's about you and that side hoe. And you know, I don't like calling people out their names. So it's not me saying it. It is Dion saying it. I'm just repeating what Dion said. Oh, he let it all hang out, baby. Dion let it all hang out on this call. And I'm so glad he did. I'm so glad he did. (laughs) 
the story is not about Nesto and the missus anymore. It's about Nesto and the side hole. The side 304. Baby. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm speechless. <laughs> I am speechless. Ooh. Let's continue. Okay, so I had to laugh at this part. Dion said they should have put some better looking pictures of him up there because he finally did a motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> Dion said he fine. And y'all keep putting them ugly pictures up there, up there of him. He's fine. According to what the ladies are saying, honey. So the ladies are telling Dion he's fine than a motherfucker. Find some good pictures to put up there. Ah, Dion, pop your shit. <laughs> pop it. Dion is feeling himself. Dion is popping his shit. Baby, I'm here for it. Okay. <sighs> but you know what? Nobody can tell Nesto's story, right? We could only talk about the story that's being presented to us. We could only talk about what's in the news, what's in, you know, what's going on, what's on the phone calls. But we cannot tell Nesto's story. Nesto can tell his own story. Nesto can talk about his story from the beginning of his life and everything in between. We don't know everything. You get what I'm saying? And if Nesto had the right people, you know, in his corner, meaning if he knew the right people in Atlanta that could get him a TV deal or a real book deal, he could make some money off of this. Okay? He could make some money off of this. They could take his life, started from the beginning, okay? From when he was a child, when he was born, where he lived at, take it all the way up, you know, being a career criminal, you know, doing the businesses, the barbershop, tell his whole life story. And Nesto could get paid. But he got to get away from Sonia. If this phone call didn't make you feel the way I feel right now about him getting away from Sonia, I don't know what else. I don't know because he needed to get away from Sonia. He been needed to leave Sonya alone. But who was going to run around and do all the legwork for him? Who was going to get paperwork for him? Who was going to call different people for him? See, he needed Sonya for different things. Okay? But look how everything is playing out. We all saw how she was acting on those video calls. Every time she would talk about something and Nesta would try to get her attention to shut up, she would turn her head the other way or she would just act like she don't see him and just keep talking and keep talking. She talks too much. She's the one that's going to dig her, dig Nesta a hole in the ground and he's not going to be able to get out of it. And it might be too late. It might be too late. But Nesto, he could tell his own story. We only tell him the story that we see and the information that's presented to us from, you know, the internet and other things. But if Nesto got with the right people, he could make a couple of dollars off his own story and he doesn't need Sonya there to help him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, Dion said Nesto showed him how to survive. You know, in the way he was talking, as if he looks up to his father. He looks up to his dad. Whether we love or hate Nesto, he has children that love him. Okay? And you could tell Dion loves his daddy, but he just don't like that bullshit <laughs> that he be on. And Nesto said it himself tonight that he doesn't have any money. Hmm. 
I think this conversation was needed. This was a conversation that Nesto needed. He needed to hear it. And he heard it from the right person. He needed this. He needed this. Mm -mm -mm. And Dion, he doesn't want anything to do with those folks. And we know who those folks he's talking about. We know who he's talking about. But let me ask you guys a question. Did Dion call her? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, because I had to write it down so I'll forget. It. <laughs> Hold on, honey. You're going to hear the pages turn. Did he call her a big head? Oh. <laughs> Listen, 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 you guys. <laughs> and you could tell Dion want to say more about her, but he held back. He held back. He wanted to say more. He held back, though. Oh, my God, because if Dion would have let loose, I think that lady would have been every name under the sun. Oh, my God. When he said that, I said, I know he didn't call that lady that. Yeah, it's time for Sonya and Nesto to break this shit up. It's time for them to just leave each other alone. Because if he doesn't, he's going to end up losing his son. Meaning, his son is going to become, become distant from him. And I'd rather Nesto have Dion in his corner... Than, you know, that other person. But hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is, honey. It is what it is. And I don't know if it's too late. So we just got to watch how things play out. I'm ready for the court date, honey. When is the court date? I'm ready for the court date. It's the final countdown. I'm ready for the court date. I want to know Nesto's fate. I'm ready, honey. I want to I want to know what's going on. I am ready for the countdown. Oh my goodness. This was a good call. This was a good call. Mm-mm-mm. Jonesy babes, Jonesy babes, Jonesy babes. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section how you felt about this call, honey. How did you feel about this call? Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation about it. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't want this phone call to end. I wanted Dion to keep spanking his daddy. Okay, I wanted him to keep <laughs> giving it to him because he needs to hear that. And I hope it don't go in one ear and right out the other. I hope it doesn't. Mm-mm-mm. He said, you let that biatch play with your son. I was wondering when those phone calls were going to come back to bite his ass. I was wondering when those phone calls were going to come back to bite. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. How my uncle said, you got to be more careful. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm. Happy Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's all I have right now. I'm about to close out. 
I hope to see you guys in the comment section. Because, honey, this call was something. Why the hell he's standing in the corner over there looking like Slender Man? Lord have mercy. It's, that's my cue to, to, to get back in my house. Because I'm sitting in my car. And this guy is standing in the corner looking like Slender Man. It's not Halloween. People out here be doing some weird stuff, man. They be doing some weird shit. But I got something for them. Mm -hmm. Peace be still. <laughs> I got me a piece. <laughs> and it is still... <laughs> All right, you guys, let me go. Let me stop acting like a fool. But yeah, he was standing in the corner looking like Slender Man. Mm. All right, later, guys.